pride and energy of college basketball more than its students. Welcome to ESPN's Student Spirit Week. of Kansas University. Big Monday presented by Bud Light. It's all a part of Student Spirit Week. And the reason for the full house and all the noise, the Missouri Tigers come calling. Folks, this is a rivalry that started way back in 1907, and it never seems to disappoint, regardless if it's played here or in Columbia. Take a look at the standings of the Big 12 Conference. A&M, Texas, and Kansas all undefeated in conference play. Then with one defeat, Tech, Iowa State, Oklahoma State, and it is Missouri looking for their first win in the Big 12 this season. Hi, everybody. Ron Franklin along with Fran Frischella. And welcome to what might always be expected, a very excited house because Missouri's in town. Old rivalry, Mike Anderson, a new face here. One of the new six coaches in the Big 12 Conference. Well, you're right, Ron. Mike Anderson, a widely expected, respected assistant under Nolan Richardson at Arkansas. Success at UAB. And now the coach at Missouri. He talks about 40 minutes of hell, although he told us today, right now it's 25 minutes of hell and 15 of what the heck are we doing? But he's got people on the other side of the border excited. Brandon Rush, on Saturday we were up at Iowa State. It was an overtime win for the Jayhawks. We not only saw a great offensive performance, a great defensive performance. Well, we really did. Remember, he knows about this rivalry. His brother Kareem starred at Mizzou. But Brandon Rush starting to come into his own on both ends of the floor. Not only good offensively, but one of the best defenders in the country. Brandon us through our star watch, Stefan Hanna for the Tigers, and Mario Chalmers for the Jayhawks. Two guys that know about good defense, both in the top in the country in steals. Watch out for them tonight, both quick hands. Veteran officiating crew, Steve Wilmer, the referee, and Tom O'Neill along with Ted Hillary, the two umpires. We'll check the starting lineups in just a moment as Mr. Wilmer is uh, preparing to toss this ball in the air and get it underway. It'll go to KU. Man-to-man -man defense rebounding will be a key for Missouri tonight. Hawking defense. Horton almost steals the ball. In fact, he does. It is tied up, and the possession arrow says we will see the Missouri Tigers. Here are the starting lineups. Hannah, Horton, Matt Lawrence, along with Marshall Brown and Kalen Grimes. It'll be Robinson, Chalmers, and Rush, the three guards. Julian Wright and Sasha Khan inside. And as we mentioned early on Saturday, so goes Khan early, so go the Jayhawks offensively. He has given them a huge lift inside over the last six games. Horton, bouncer inside to Grimes. Nothing there. Horton back inside, reverses the shot. Only one and out. Rebounded by Julian Wright. Trying to get Khan in foul trouble early. Didn't work first time through. They get the ball to Khan in deep. Turn around and jump hook with the right hand. He's got it. Well, he's made 19 of 24. Working against Wright, takes it strong to the hoop. I believe it was Khan who got a hand on it. Hard to score on Kansas inside. They block six, eight shots a game. Gets it off to Khan, reverses the shot. 
and he stepped on the baseline. Well, you always can tell what a coach emphasizes early in the game. That time, they went to Khan again. Matt Lawrence is the man who will draw. Rush, drive to the hoop, offensive foul, Horton. Sasha Khan, last four and a half games, 19 of 23 from the field. If he stays out of foul trouble, he can be a force inside. Rush inbounds to Chalmers. When Missouri pressures full court, Ron, they will randomly trap. Left alone is right. Three-pointer, in and out, wouldn't go. And Skyne for the rebound, Marshall Brown. Brown almost has it taken away. Hannah gets it back, feeds it off to Brown. And a tie ball is called. Possession error says KU. Well, Missouri turns people over 21 times a game. But we've talked about Kansas this year. Very quick-handed backcourt. And you see right there, Russell Robinson reaches in, gets all ball, and causes the tie-up. Mike Anderson signals to his players, and particularly Marshall Brown, Calm it down just a little yes. bit. Very important, especially on the road. Robinson inside to right, reverses it, scores easily. Remember, K-State out-rebounded this team 41-17. The Achilles heel right now is inside. Chalmers with the foul. Keep your eye on this, Ron. It's see a little fake elbow, nothing much, but we talked about that in the Oklahoma Texas Tech incident. Referees need to keep an eye. Lawrence knocks down the three pointer. That's the man Rush is guarding, and Rush is going to have to get a little bit tighter on him. One of the most improved players in the Big 12, Matt Lawrence. But his nickname is Layups. That's because he shoots so many threes with such ease. Chalmers, in and out, wouldn't go. Rebounded by Grimes. Out of the wing, Brown got it. Marshall Brown has been red hot in Big 12 play, averaging about 24 points a game. He had 24 and 9 against Texas, had 28 against K-State. Right. Feeds into Khan, a little too hard with the left hand. Hannah, not there, put it up with the left hand. Enough of an intimidation by Khan, and he missed it. Well, Missouri wants to speed you up, but Kansas averages about 80 points a game. Rush. He has really improved the drive game. Ten free throws against Oklahoma State, not settling for the jumpers. Grimes, not there. Wright with still another rebound. That's at least a couple for him in the early going. Robinson strong the other direction. Missed it. Offensive foul. Bill Self, fourth season as the head coach here at KU. 77% winning percentage, 8 and 280% against Missouri. And you heard us talk about Mike earlier, first season as the head coach. Fifth season in college as a head coach was at UAB. Longtime assistant to Nolan Richardson at Arkansas. Played his college basketball at Tulsa. Brown squares up and rattles it home. One of the things about Marshall Brown that is so incredible, the second half is when he's been devastatingly good, averaging 20.3 points a ball game in the second half of Big 12 play. Great point, Ron, and he fits this style perfectly because he's a mobile power forward. Collins in the ball game, as is Arthur. Arthur lost it. And gathered in by Robinson. Bill Self goes to the bench and brings in two McDonald's All-Americans. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Inside, Kahn lost it. Back out to Collins. 
three seconds gets up a two pointer not there and Grimes with another rebound very good block out a team block out that time by Mizzou Hannah Collins pushes Chalmers the runner too short Grimes it again with the rebound. Well, I like the aggressiveness of Rush there, Ron. Hits something that Bill Self's looking for. Brown outside the arc. Nope. That comes up short. Chipped away. Comes to KU. Here's Collins behind the back. He'll put up a three. Why not? He shoots 41% behind the arc. Seven KU. Got to have a seatbelt in this game. That's for sure. Grimes tried to take it along the baseline. Collins with a nice job of shutting off the line. So let's take a timeout as Rush takes it strong to the hoop. And then Collins, after missing one from inside the arc, hands this three. Jayhawks by a couple. We'll be right back. The NCAA Women's Basketball Championship coming in March. Welcome to my casa. It's your boy, B. Can. This here's my foyer. This is my game room. This right here is my new suede couch. To the pool, baby. These are my ladies. Monday, Tuesday, when? Hey, man, who are you? Steve. You part of the crew? No, I'm just here for the Bud Light. Who gave you that? When's it? Did you give them that? Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Yeah, this is where I spend most of my... Man, put down my papaya! ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Refreshingly Smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. And in part by Chevrolet, an American revolution. Student Spirit Week, Kansas is up by two, and they have the spirit here at Allen Fieldhouse. This student section is one of the best in the country. They line up at 6 o'clock in the morning after the last home game, and they camp for as long as a week to get tickets. Guys, they have to come in, they sign up on a sheet, and they have periodic roll calls. They can sign up from 6 a.m. They have to stay all of the time until 10 o'clock at night, and then come back every single time. Someone from their group has to be there during roll call, or they lose their spot. With Coach Larry Brown, it's been going on ever since. In fact, they've been installed wireless internet downstairs in Allen Fieldhouse, so the kids are more comfortable. They used to make them wait outside, but concerns about frostbite and cold brought them in. Guys, tonight this is the biggest student section they've ever had. Sign up for tickets. We usually have about 70 student groups, which is 30 students apiece. Tonight, 121, a new school record. That shows you how important this Missouri game is here for these students. Okay, Holly, great job. Super hustle. <laughs> and they're not even in school yet. They start Thursday. <laughs> Inside, Arthur has it knocked away. Well, early on, Ron, you see Khan first. Now Bill Self pounding it into the freshman, Darrell Arthur, taking advantage of that interior defense of Missouri. Well, 36 and 14 all time against Missouri and Allen Fieldhouse and has won seven straight. That foul is going to be on Marshall Brown. It's his first. Of course, the last coach to beat Kansas in here was Norm Stewart, probably sitting at home on his rocking chair. The rocking chair. The rocking chair. Yeah, we'll, we'll show that later on in this ball game. Storm and Norman. Arthur. A very talented young yes. man out of uh, the Dallas area. Daryl from South Oak Cliff. Shot. Bounced on both sides. Wouldn't go down. Chalmers. Rush on the wing. Good job defensively to cut him off. Collins. Alley oop, but it was too tall. Well, even for Arthur. Good idea. Execution, not what Bill Self wanted. 
16 turnovers on Saturday. That's four now. They've been averaging seven. And I know after the ball game, Bill was not real happy about that. And that, that was an unforced turnover. Missouri already forces 22 a game with that pressure. Lions. Not there. Brown got it back. Cross court. Three pointer. Yeah. Great look by Jason Horton. He had the shot, but he got it to the sharpshooter. This guy averaged a point and a half last year. You know, Matt Lawrence, a sophomore out of St. Louis, played at Lafayette, shoots 403 pointers a day in yep. the offseason. Very big for Mike Anderson. You see Matt Lawrence. Now he went 80 minutes in Big 12 play without scoring. Watch the kick out. Drive by Horton. Lawrence knows where the line is. This is a young man averaging over 11 points a game this year after hardly getting off the bench a year ago. Well, he's perfect tonight. Two of two. Kansas up by one. 12 and a half minutes to play opening half. Horton along the baseline. Brown kissed it off the glass nicely. It makes him effective, Ron. At 6'6", he can take you inside or out and use the dribble. Summer, Super Mario, the students like to call him. On the wing. Brown missed. Brown off to a good start, though. And if he's going to score 20 in the second half, <laughs> he's going to really have a load of them tonight. Rush. Not there. Battling inside, ball knocked away. With his hands on the ball was Darnell Jackson, but he couldn't find the handle. Well, I love Rush's aggressiveness early, not settling for the jumper. Lawrence, oh, that's a nice wow. move. Caught it, head fake to the right, took it back to the left, and Rush left laundry on the floor on yeah. that one. And I'll tell you, Rush was on him. Horton picks up the foul. Second foul of him. Let's take a timeout. 15-13, Missouri. All right, international shipping. Well, your products are on a plane, ready to go to your customers in Europe to arrive on Friday. But Italy wants it there by noon, Paris early morning, and London late afternoon. Well, if you had a UPS logo, now when your customers ask, you can say, see, si, we, oui, and yes. It's not international shipping. It's international shipping with UPS. And you even got a little tailwind. And reminder, this game is being broadcast on ESPN HD, presented by Olivia. Matt Lawrence has been in a mini shooting slump early in Big 12 play, only three for 11. Teams have started to guard him a little bit tighter, but so far early tonight has been able to get some space, knock down 3-3, three -three, and give Missouri this two-point lead. And Holly Rowe has more on Matt Lawrence. Holly? Well, guys, Matt Lawrence told me this week that last year he had to be pretty much wide open to get a shot off. This year, the thing he worked on during the offseason, he wanted to get his shot off quicker, a quicker release. Guys, he had all of his biggest teammates go against him, come fly at him, stay on him on the perimeter all through their summer pickup games. He said it's made a huge difference. We can really see it tonight with Brandon Rush guarding him, who's so quick to close defensively. Guys, that quick release is paying off for him now. Okay, Holly, and what's even more uh, impressive tonight with this start, Lawrence is 3 of 3, and the rest of his teammates are 0 for 5 from beyond the arc. It's interesting, Ron, when you get the conference play, you don't get a lot of open looks, so you have to shoot shots with people flying at you. And the move he put on Rush down here a moment ago, we saw Rush on Saturday simply shut down mm -hmm. Taylor, yep. and Taylor had a super hot hand at the time. You are right. That was textbook shot fake one dribble. You know what Rush told me before the game tonight? I said, which which you enjoy more, scoring or getting the good defensive stand? He said, I love the defensive thing. I love to shut people down. He's got a task tonight at number 33 there. Yes, he does. And Collins is on him right now. With Rush on the bench getting a breather. Shot clock is at 10. Nice pass. Inside and the easy two, Leo Lyons, a sophomore out of Kansas City. Little 2-2-1 pressure here. Missouri will mix their presses up. 
Jackson. Lyon sends it back out of there. Uh, oh, watch JT Tiller here, the freshman from Wheeler High School in Marietta, Georgia, starting to get more time. Dribble attack, gets behind the defense, Grimes does. And an easy two. JT Tiller originally signed with UAB. Then with the coaching change, was uh, allowed to release himself from that. As Jackson knocks down the free throw. Super Tuesday doubleheader tomorrow on ESPN. Big Ten at 7 o'clock. Iowa faces Indiana. Then it's in the SEC. 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Kentucky takes on South Carolina. Super Tuesday presented by Lexus. Part of Student Spirit Week on ESPN. And that game is an ESPN HD high definition. Hoosiers playing very well. Very talented backcourt led by Earl Callaway. About to hit ten and a half minutes left to play in his opening half. Motion offense, a lot of movement. Lions, Tiller, way outside, off the mark. And Larch tried to save it by throwing the ball off one of the Jayhawks, and it did not happen. Jackson, whistle and a foul against Missouri. It will go against Tiller. Good job by Kansas taking care of the open court and Darnell Jackson hustling down and getting an opportunity to shoot a pair. Good dish by Chalmers. Two fouls on Tiller. Darnell Jackson. Butterfield, I beg your pardon. This guy Jackson and Ron only 16 minutes a game, but he gets an offensive rebound every six minutes. Very active and a good fourth inside player for Bill Self. Second and on the way, and Jackson knocks that one down. And Jackson will go to the bench, and Khan will check back in. That is the eighth lead change of our ball game with KU going on top by one. And for people that just joined us, saying to themselves, hey, KU was a big favorite. Folks, this is Missouri, Kansas. This game never goes according to Hoyle. Let's see if they count it. Good piece of officiating. Tiller was in the act on the push. You don't have to release it. You just have to be in your normal shooting motion. This young man played at a very good high school, Wero High School. J.J. Hickson will go to North Carolina State next year. Nice balance. Way to use the backboard to soften your shot. Two fouls on Chalmers. One of the things that stands out early in this game, no intimidation factor. Missouri has been every bit as aggressive as the Jayhawks. Missouri, in case you do not follow the Big 12 Conference, looking for their first conference win. They're 0-3 under their new head coach, Mike Anderson. And there have been a couple of close calls, but they've come up on the losing end. And boy, would it be a wonderful thing for the folks from Missouri if they got the first one right here in this field house. Little zone now, a 1-1-3 zone. Good ball movement. Three on the way and knocking it down, Russell Robinson. A little bit of a bonus for Bill Self. Russell has not shot it well this year, but good rhythm shot. Two-pointer, not there. Tip back to Rush. Behind. Almost had to take it away. Good pressing teams. Tip it from behind in transition. Good effort right there by Tiller. See the zone. Collins for three. Missouri went zone. Kansas reacted with great weak side skip passing. You see Khan inside out. Robinson in rhythm knocks it down. That's the second foul on Brown. We'll have to keep a very close eye on that one. One and one already for uh, for KU as we've had a, both, uh, a lot of fouls by both of these clubs and we are just under the 10 minute mark of this uh, opening half. Stewart into the ball game. Roderick Jr. out of Seattle. Got the turn with the follow. Julian Wright. Nice job of Wright skying. No contact. Keon Lawrence on the run. Julian Wright. A much more aggressive. 
defensive, offensive-minded Julian Wright this afternoon. Kansas jumping out to a six-point lead. Julian Wright coming off a one-assist, seven turnover performance on Saturday at Iowa State. But watch the athleticism, the finish here, and then the determination to go to the rim and attack off the dribble. No help. Nice finish. We were in Ames, Iowa on Saturday afternoon, and he had two, if not three, really timid putbacks and didn't score. But after the ball game, the head coach was in his ear, and in watching that sequence right there, he got the message. Absolutely on the mark, Ron. KU up by six. Lions, nice dish inside. Brown headed, knocked away by Wright. On the floor, whistle and a foul. Well, Missouri came up empty. Good job of getting to the lane. Well, that's Brown, that's three. So let's check in with Reese Davis for a, a 30 on 30 report. All right, Ron, apparently the sting of losing in the national championship game, not enough to convince Ted Ginn Jr. and Antonio Pittman to give it another run. Both Buckeyes declaring for the 2007 NFL draft and declaring his intentions to go back home. Chris Webber going to join the Pistons Tuesday after he officially clears waivers about 2 o'clock Eastern time. Sports Center after the game, ESPN News All. All right, Reese, thanks so much. Let's change it. They said Hannah committed the foul. It's his second, so not three on Brown. He still is with two. Three-pointer on the way. Way too hard by Keon Lawrence. Robinson. Kansas not minding being in a track meet with a team that likes to run. Three-pointer there That's by Stefan Hannah. Junior college teammate of Mario Bogan and Iowa State's Mike Taylor, who we saw on Saturday, Chipola Junior College. Down in Florida in the panhandle. In fact, Mike Taylor told us he's having to play point right now. He said, Hannah played guard last year, <laughs> and I like that a lot better. Rush for three. Got it. Three. Five points for him. Big 12 nominated Brandon Rush and Julian Wright, preseason co-players of the year. In the first 13 minutes, they've come out with that kind of intensity. Wright tries to save it, and he does. Russell Robinson up to rush. This is the last time you've seen him drive this much. And I'll tell you, Missouri obviously is right picks up the foul. Missouri's going to have to close that door. That's way too easy, wouldn't you think? Yep. So we'll take a timeout. Kansas 30, Missouri 22, as Brandon Rush continues a torrid pace in league play. We'll be right back. So we are back with uh, 6.49 left to play in this opening half. 32-22 Kansas on top. And let's correct one thing. We got a correction. Marshall Brown did pick up his third foul and make it one on Stephon Hanna. So that is huge. And we'll look up to see if Missouri will break the huddle with him to come on the floor or stay on the bench. Well, it doesn't hurt that much when you think that he's been averaging 20 points a game in the second half second anyway. Half, that's right. And Hannah may be equally as important in handling the ball versus Kansas's half-court pressure. Volk is back in the ball game. The junior out of Lithuania by way of Redlands Community College. Number 32 for the Tigers. Hannah knocks down that first shot. And a young man from Chicago, Hyde Park High School, played against Sharon Collins in high school. The Chicago Public League. Diving for it, the ball stays with the Tigers. Yeah. 
One thing that's been effective so far, Ron, for Missouri is the motion offense spreads the floor and it's allowed dribble penetration, which has led to some easy opportunities. Notice Stewart on Lawrence now. They keep mixing defenders on Lawrence. Tiller gets the cutter. Lawrence picked up the dribble and goes back to Hannah. Hannah unlucky on that shot. And Darnell Jackson comes down with the rebound. Very, very effective rebounder. See the zone now. now this has effectively kept Kansas from getting the ball inside. Still plenty of time in the shot clock. It's a 12. Robinson will back it. And they'll reset. Seven seconds down to six in the shot clock. Tip and Tiller does not cause the turnover. And Jackson gets the ball out of the air. One second on the clock and knocks down his fifth point. And at the other end. <laughs> You're getting a little bit of taste of 40 minutes of hell. It's going to take a couple of years. But a glimpse right there. Boy, in transition, you got to be good against this group. Rush. Nope. Tiller with the outlet pass. Lawrence for three. A little too quick. Rush threw it off a Missouri player. Lions. It'll be KU basketball. Arnell Jackson looking like Phil Negro as the shot clock goes down. Hoist up the knuckleball. <laughs> Gives you a lot of energy, but doesn't give you a lot of that. Interesting, Ron. Mike Anderson took over a team that had a lot of young players, but very little success. Lions comes up. Kayla Grimes, number 44, checks back into the lineup. Grimes, Lions, Lawrence have all improved from a year ago. Grimes told me the minute he found out that Mike Anderson was going to become the head coach, Rush with the three, not there, rebounded by Volkus. He said, the minute I found out that Mike Anderson was going to be our coach, I strapped on my iPod, put on my tennis shoes, and started running because I knew I was going to need to lose some weight. Nice shot right there. Kissman off the glass. JT Tiller, freshman, continues to step up. Six points for him. Yep. Another freshman, Keon Lawrence, has been battling uh, foot problems. Tiller taking advantage. Battle inside. That may be against Grimes. But it's Super Tuesday tomorrow on ESPN2. With Big East action, 7 o'clock, UConn takes on number 6, Pittsburgh. And then in the Big 12, 9 Eastern, number 23, Texas, at number 14, Oklahoma State. Super Tuesday, presented by Lexus, part of Student Spirit Week on ESPN2. Battle of two Player of the Year candidates in the Big 12, Bogan and Durant. That's a pretty move. Focus Bogus with his first two of the night. And all the way, Collins takes it coast to coast. Remember, Collins has lost 20 pounds since November. Down to about 200. Much quicker. We've seen that the last couple of games. There's that Chicago matchup. Oh, nice runner right there. Put it very high. And he swished it. It's a good point, Ron. Hannah shoots a very soft shot. Watched him on tape this year. He likes to have that ball hang on the rim when it does hit the rim. Little Chicago Public League action. <laughs> See how soft he shoots that ball. Not only does it get a chance to go in the first time, but if it kicks around that rim, has a chance to go in second and third. Time. Arthur goes to the bench. Rush goes to the bench at the 404. And Chalmers at the line for KU. That's too hard. And Grimes comes down with the rebound. Tiller's pass tried to throw it through Chalmers, and he took it away. And then the ball came off his left arm and went out of bounds. So let's take a timeout and get one more look at it. Here it is right here. Hit off his knee, actually, rather than his left arm. Turn over KU, 34-31.
also. The following items are prohibited in the dorms. Animals of any kind, halogen lamps, and toaster ovens. Any questions? Yes, uh, Riche. Reese. We're gonna have mascots, coaches, players, and thousands of screaming fans over. Is that a problem? Will they have toaster ovens? Uh, no. Then just mind the quiet hours. We're on campus. College game day, driven by State Farm. Saturdays, 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern, only on ESPN. I'm Reese Davis, coming up on the UPS Halftime Report. The North Carolina women were pushed to the brink in their quest to remain perfect. We'll also show you the candidates for the big man on campus and tell you who's tired of being big men on campus and ready to head to the NFL. It's all coming up at halftime. Digger and Stacy will join. So welcome back. 34-31 with the 355 left to play in this opening half. Look at the wind blew in from the planes. A couple of our ESPN anchors. They must have gotten lost on uh, Interstate 84 in Connecticut. Could have been following that sand truck <laughs> with the plow on front. Would have taken them two weeks to get here if they drove. <laughs> Grimes, nothing there. Got it back to Tiller. Oh, Tiller, like, like this kid, gets into trees and still fights and takes it away and knocks down Ted Hillary, one of the officials. And here comes KU. They got numbers. Three on one and dribbled off the foot. Julian Wright. Watch the hustle of Missouri. Both teams scrapping. Ted Hillary always managing to get into the middle of the action. Good job by the freshman Tiller. Here's an interesting note. Missouri averages just over 12 steals a ball game. They only have one in this first half tonight. You know that it's a three-point game. And they Excuse haven't me. pressed very much, Ron. Yeah. And mostly half court man to man. Very easy call. Travel against Grimes. There's turnover forced, number one, and a turnover margin. Plus 5.8 first. A little bit more conservative attack by Missouri. Even this 2-2-1 pressure is uh, a nuisance press because you don't want to get Kansas into the open court. <laughs> Missouri loves to turn teams over, but if you give Kansas open court space after those initial traps, it could be lights out. Grimes reverses the turnaround and swishes it. But look out. We're back to a one-point ball game with two minutes and 46 seconds left. Grimes, another one of those guys who's been here for a couple of years, but much improved. Collins puts it in the left hand. Could not get the shot to go, though. And Bocas very quietly has garnered several rebounds as Rush comes up with the block, and he'll take it down the floor himself. Right misses. Two Tigers fight for it, and Stepan Hanna comes up with it. Interesting Rush, a second block already. He averages a block a game. Large for three. Nope, it's not there. Khan with the rebound. And a timeout called by KU. Well, you have to like Missouri's gumption. They've handled the crowd, the atmosphere. Let's do a little hoops front one-on-one, -on -one, Ron. There's a term we call screen the screener. Very popular in college basketball. Take a look now. A big little screen. That means a guard for the big guy coming across the lane. Effective because teams usually won't switch that. And then after the initial screen, the big man sets a down screen for the man who had just set the screen. Uh, therefore, screen the screener, open jump shot, looking like Brandon Rush. What a basketball dictionary this year. They've been effective doing that tonight. <laughs> Haven't seen much of it because they've, uh, they've been able to get out into the open court. What's that old saying? You can screen a screener, but don't tailgate a tailgater. <laughs> 2.05 left to play in this opening half, 34-33 KU. And you could see a very worried expression on Bill Self's face across the way. And for good reason. He knows about this rivalry, what it means, and records mean absolutely nothing. Sounds like coaches speak, but it's not. It's the truth. Khan, left hand, had it partially blocked by Grimes. Grimes 
Adams has had himself a good first half. Won't necessarily show in the books, but his big body has been a good presence. Right in the middle of that zone. 2 3 zone has been effective. College basketball on ESPN a Wednesday night, 7 o'clock Eastern. It'll be North Carolina, number four in the nation, taking on number 16, Clemson. ACC Wednesday presented by Staples, a part of Student Spirit Week on ESPN. Game is in high definition. And if you're a high school or college coach, go get the copy of the North Carolina-Virginia Tech game. You will see how to coach in the comeback game. Carolina down over 20, almost brought them back to win it. Roy Williams, excellent job. Lawrence now with 11 first half points. There's nobody else on either team in double figures. If you're a Missouri fan, don't worry about the 0 3 record. This is a team that believes in its coach. See, they put the press in their back pocket and gone zone. You could see the help side defense. Mm -hmm. Bolkus did a nice job, and Collins hands the three. Collins now with eight. Right now, their best outside shooter halfway through the season. Hanna holds up. He is a very, very quick shot. Second basket on his Windy City rival. I'll tell you, with Bogan and this guy mm -hmm. and, and Mike Taylor, no wonder they were such a good junior college basketball team, huh? Yep, finished fourth in the country at Hutch. Under a minute to play. Shot clock is at 15. Three-pointer Robinson. Three. I love Robinson. He's I got two three-pointers for six. And I don't think Mike Anderson minds that very much. Ball's not getting inside. Up two seconds between game shot and the shot clock. Which is effectively like no... Yeah. no no difference, so they should hold it down, shoot it around three on the shot clock if they can. Had it just dribbled right by him, hit the runner with seven <laughs> seconds left, and now KU has time. Here's Collins. Coast to coast. Couldn't get it. Ball is tipped up, and we are at halftime with a one-point ball game. Missouri and Kansas matchups. And a check in with Holly Rowe. Holly? Coach, you guys are in a one point game. It's a rivalry game. What do you like about your team's intensity so far? Well, they're playing to win. They're playing hard. They're getting all loose balls. We're battling on the board. We're showing some aggressiveness, and that's what I want to see our team do. You needed your team to rebound better. What do you think's been the key? Well, I think we got five guys out there committed to rebounding and playing defense. That's a part of defense. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Holly, thanks so much. We're at halftime with the score. Kansas 40 and Missouri 39. Right now, let's send it to Reese Davis. And Reese has the UPS halftime report. Reese. All right, Ron Digger and Stacy alongside. One point game at the half. Much closer than many expected. And if Missouri was going to hang that close, you would have thought that they would have created a bunch of turnovers. Didn't really happen that way, Digger. But the problem happened last week for Kansas. The worst thing that happened to Kansas is they blew out by 30 points. They took away business from Oklahoma State, who at that time was coming in like one of the best teams in the country. Then they go in overtime on the road at Iowa State, and now they come home and they're flat, and what? Missouri comes in, stays, they just had the mindset to get this game going. With all due respect to Missouri, Kansas should be up by far more, and it's just about shot selection. You're taking poor shots. That's a leadership issue. Russell Robinson needs to be a better leader for this Kansas team and get them back on track. But good news for Missouri in the first half. They weathered the storm and only down one at the break at the Fox. Student 
spirit week and uh, we got a lot of spirit in this house always in the Allen Field House on the campus of the University of Kansas and five first half rebounds last Saturday and a loss 23 first half rebounds tonight that to me shows intensity it's amazing what happens when you go into the Lions Den. how your <laughs> mentality changes but certainly Mike Anderson has had this team ready to come in here and go toe to toe Ron and when you take on the bully on the block you got to get the first shot in and that's what uh, Missouri's done tonight but they've done it with dribble penetration really done a good job of bro breaking down a very good Kansas Jayhawk defense you see Hannah into the lane all done off the dribble and you don't contain dribble penetration you allow the ball to get to the rim and then oftentimes that leads to the inside out three and very happy Mike Anderson in terms of what his team's been able to do in the first half here are the first half stats see the rebounding and neither team really turning the ball over if anything Missouri with a little bit ratcheted down 40 minutes of hell haven't pressed very much well one of the things that, that jumps out at me is 40 percent shooting at the three tonight that has been quieted a little bit let's check in with Holly Rowe Holly well guys I spoke with Kansas coach Bill Self coming out of the locker room I asked him what are the most important things here in the second half for his club he said defense He said the other thing is they've got to slow it down on offense. You guys, they're really buying into that fast, fast, fast pressure that we see from Missouri. He wants his team to slow it down, take advantage of their offensive opportunities. Okay, Holly. Tonight, Missouri 4 of 15 for 26% from beyond the arc. Lawrence started off with the hot hand, hitting three of his first three, and since then has missed his last couple. Missouri and offense first, we see Hannah. Like one of the best teams in the country. Then they go in overtime on the road at Iowa State, and now they come home and they're flat, and what? Missouri comes in, stays, they just had the mindset to get this game going. With all due respect to Missouri, Kansas should be up by far more, and it's just about shot selection. You're taking poor shots. That's a leadership issue. Russell Robinson needs to be a better leader for this Kansas team and get them back on track. But good news for Missouri in the first half. They weathered the storm and only down one at the break at the Fox. Earlier tonight on Big Monday in the Big East, Louisville trying to win three Big East games in a row for the first time again. Student Spirit Week, and uh, we got a lot of spirit in this house always in the Allen Field House on the campus of the University of Kansas. And five first half rebounds last Saturday and a loss. 23 first half rebounds tonight. That to me shows intensity. It's amazing what happens when you go into the Lions Den, how your <laughs> mentality changes. But certainly Mike Anderson has had this team ready to come in here and go toe to toe, Ron. And when you take on the bully on the block, you got to get the first shot in. And that's what uh, Missouri's done tonight. But they've done it with dribble penetration. Really done a good job of bro breaking down a very good Kansas Jayhawk defense. You see Hannah into the lane, all done off the dribble. And you don't contain dribble penetration. You allow the ball to get to the rim. And then oftentimes that leads to the inside out three. And very happy Mike Anderson in terms of what his team's been able to do in the first half. Here are the first half stats. And you see the rebounding and neither team really turning the ball over. If anything, Missouri with a little bit ratcheted down. 40 minutes of hell. Haven't pressed very much. Well, one of the things that, that jumps out at me is 40% shooting at the three. Tonight, that has been quieted a little bit. Let's check in with Holly Rowe. Holly. Well, guys, I spoke with Kansas coach Bill Self coming out of the locker room. I asked him what are the most important things here in the second half for his club. He said defensive transition, guys. You'll notice that they have not been getting back, allowing some fast break points for Missouri. He said the other thing is they've got to slow it down on offense. Guys, they're really buying into that fast that we see from Missouri. He wants his team to slow it down, take advantage of their offensive opportunities. Okay, Holly. Tonight, Missouri 4 of 15 for 26% from beyond the arc. Lawrence started off with the hot hand, hitting three of his first three, and since then has missed his last couple. 
Missouri on offense first. We see Hannah. Rush opens the second half again. If you're Bill Self, I would not leave Matt Lawrence. That runner not hard enough, falling down with the ball turnover against KU. You think Marshall Brown's going to do this half, Ron? Well, he's been averaging, what, 20.3 points a ball game in Big 12 Conference play in, in the second half. Young man from Austin LBJ, a combo forward type. You know, I mentioned right at the top of the second half, when I was coaching and you take on a situation like this, you're playing number five. They are the bully on the block, Kansas. The way to go at them is get the first shot in. Missouri has done that so far. Hannah strong to the hoop. It is blocked by Wright. Came back with it and taken away by KU by Julian Wright. And at the other end, it's Rush scoring to go to the free throw line. Now well, we've seen a renewed effort by Brandon Rush attacking the dribble, but it started with the hustle by Julian Wright, the block. Then he chases down the loose ball. That long reach and then the kick ahead to Rush who attacks the basket. It's a chance for three. And he converts it. Matt Lawrence charged with the foul, his first, and the team's first. Ten points now for Rush. Robinson ties him up. Possession error says it'll go the other way. KU basketball. So Hannah goes to the bench and very quickly, number four, JT Tiller, comes off the bench replacing Hannah. Let's see if Kansas goes inside to Sasha Khan. Pretty quiet first half. Sasha had a good game on Saturday, much more aggressive. And there he goes there right there, left hand. Boy, talk about unlucky. That ball did everything but go down. Well, you can always tell, as I've mentioned, the point of emphasis was emphasis when you come out of the locker room. This time they run their high-low game. Con with good position. Everything goes except just misses the inside left-hand hook. Pressure on Lawrence, Ron. I mean, Rush is right with him. Left hand, put it up, wouldn't go. Well, here comes Robinson. Two on two on the break. On the wing, Chalmers, no. Horton rebounds. right there dangerous when you save the ball under your opponent's basket they tried to throw it off him Horton didn't get it all the way Kansas two-point lead we played the first two minutes of the second half Robinson dishes it off to Wright and Wright has it knocked away by Horton but regains it and rush in the corner for three Good start to the second half by Missouri. You want to stay in this game. Each TV timeout. Three-pointer J.T. Tiller. And that rebound a moment ago, by the way, number eight for Grimes. This is a team with essentially most of the same players back from a year ago that believes in a new system. Right. Ball tipped by Horton. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Mike Anderson's style, Ron, we talk about basketball skills, passing, shooting, rebounding, dribbling. Playing hard is a skill, something that needs to be learned, something these Tigers are starting to learn. Well, Horton knocked the ball away, shot clock now with five. Rush puts it on the floor a couple of times. The runner, not there, and he'll go to the free throw line. 
And that foul occurred with two seconds on that shot clock. That was foul on Kalen Ryan. Brand, let's talk about the anatomy of a rivalry. Well, Ron, you've seen so many of this Kansas-Missouri, this border war. Here it is, tradition, obviously 255 games. Geography, this, this rivalry transcends sports. This goes back to the Civil War. Competition, for the most part, these teams have been very competitive. Just ask Norm Stewart and Roy Williams. Obviously, fan interest, we've seen that tonight. And then also how it affects the national scene basketball-wise. Oh, Mike Anderson, as we talked about in the first half, his ball club off to an 0-3 start in Big 12 conference play. And no better place in the world for him to break that conference drought than to do it right here. But that's a mouthful as Grimes scores, and Grimes now with four points. We talk about increased confidence by Grimes, Marshall Brown, Leo Lyons. You see how fast Kansas is now on offense. Con and give the assist to Russell Robinson. A little screen and roll, created indecision. Four for Con. Tied at 46. Grimes back out in the corner. This is a two pointer and make it good for Matt Lawrence. Oh, yeah. 13 for him. You talk about a perfect shot fake. Chalmers. Smart almost picked his pocket. He spun and scored. Brown with the drive, and he was fouled. So the fight foul is on right. We'll take a timeout. 48 all. If you watch Chalmers on that move. Big Monday presented by Bud Light, Missouri and Kansas tied at 48. And uh, give us a lesson on shot fakes. Well, Ron, Holly Rowe talked about it earlier with Matt Lawrence, how he worked on his quickness all summer. Now freeze it, guys. All right, now, you when you shot fake, you only shot fake chest to eyes. That gets the defender up in the air. You stay down, the ball comes up. Keep your eye on this now. I want you to freeze it when he catches it. Look, only six inches right here. That's all you need to get the defender in the air. Right there, step through, pull up. You stay down, the ball comes up. You fake it from the chest to your eyes. That's all you need. It's about six inches, Ron. Well done by Lawrence. 13 points, four of six, two of two from the free throw line. Killer. That's an air ball. Missouri four of six second half shooting KU three of six and Grimes commits the foul against Kahn and, and what his head coach is going to say you're 35 feet from the basket what are you doing committing the foul out there way 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 in no man's land what's interesting that was the first possession of the second half where they started to trap let's see if that is a, a trend Rush, three-pointer. <laughs> he saw how quickly Lawrence shot it on him, didn't hesitate. 14 points, Rush. That shot off the mark. Well, we're at 15.01, <laughs> so <laughs> 25 minutes of hell is it. Time's up. Well, remember what we said, Mike Anderson said, so far, my young team, it's been 25 minutes of hell, 15 minutes of what the heck are we doing? Let's see. <laughs> well, let's see if this is the 15 minutes of hell or 15 minutes of what are we doing? Grimes with the turnaround, yes. Very soft, well done. He's got six now. A lot of confidence, Kalen Grimes. Arthur back in the ball game. And Brown will be guarding him. Rush, left hand in and out. And Arthur on the follow, too hard. Khan follows, and they just ball it all it back and forth until they got it. This is the most consistent the junior from Tom Siberia has been in his three years under Bill Self, the last five games. Tiller, 
blocked by Rush, and Rush just ran into Grimes. They collided, and he is holding his nose, and in fact is headed toward the bench. I don't know if he's bleeding or what. That's his third block. I'll tell you, there are not many guards in the country that block shots like Brandon Rush. Keep your eye on the drive into the lane. First Rush comes up with the block. Great rejection. Now Grimes is going to come into your picture and boom. Right there they That's smack heads. Yep. Collision. He did stay on the floor. The foul on Horton. He's third. And Rush goes to the bench. First time tonight that I remember Kansas going to the three small guards. Pretty good matchup of muscle inside on that free throw line for rebound. Now can Kansas contain dribble penetration? Brown for three. Collins rebounds for KU. Well, you always have to be aware when you play Missouri or a Mike Anderson team, they will tip the ball from behind, but that time Tommy O'Neill said, nope, you got some arm. <laughs> Triple penetration. You can do it, I can do it. Mike Anderson wants a timeout. Collins gets all the way to the rim. A more spelt Sharon Collins. Canada just picked up his third foul. And they are standing and making a lot of noise here at Allen Fieldhouse. Seven point lead, KU. Ahead on Sports Center Heat Lakers round two out west. Gilbert's must see finish in the east. MVP LT fired up after Sunday's loss. Did he back down today? And Nick Saban's plan to turn the tide back into a winner after the game. It's like we're gonna be roomies. I'm Reese. I'm Jay. Hubert. Bigger. Tom. This is supposed to be a double. Yeah, you're Tom. We're college game day. College game day driven by State Farm. Saturdays 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only on ESPN. This game is being broadcast on ESPN HD, presented by Olivia. Our score, Kansas 57, Missouri 50. And now here's a look at our Lowe's home team advantage. Fifty-second season at Allen Fieldhouse. KU all-time at the Fog, 590-105. That's a, almost an 85% mm -hmm. winning percentage at home under self. They're 52-5, and 91%. There's a guy in this building tonight by the name of Bud Stallworth also who played in this building for KU and had 50 against Missouri back in the early 70s. Listen to the numbers on Collins just this half. That's his fifth point. Three rebounds, one assist, and one steal. That makes three straight games in double figures and scoring. Hannah off the mark, Arthur rebounds. And Marshall Brown is going to have to crank up that 20-point uh, average here to help out his teammates. They're down by eight. Turnover KU. Let's see if Missouri has a little hell left in them. Lawrence at ball blocked by Wright. Very hard to score on Kansas inside. They're one of the nation's top shot blocking teams. Chalmers got a piece of that one. Lawrence for three. Nope. And taken down by Lyons. Well, they need to set up the drive now. three yeah he's got five his first points here in the second half as rush prepares to check back into the lineup Collins 
Little no look pass into the lane. And it's going to stay with KU. Kansas now starting to have success in terms of dribble penetration. Now that might mean Missouri's guard start, starting to get fatigued a little bit. Mike Anderson and building this team, they practice, they go three minutes at a time, full speed in practice. They try to work it, Ron, to four, five, six, seven, eight minutes at a time where they don't stop in terms of their scrimmaging. Chalmers turns it over. Well, a Super Tuesday doubleheader tomorrow when ESPN at the Big Ten at 7 o'clock. Iowa faces off against Indiana. Then at 9 o'clock at the SEC, Kentucky takes on South Carolina. Both games in HD. Super Tuesday presented by Lexus, part of Student Spirit Week on ESPN. Ron Franklin, Fran Frischel, and Holly Rowe coming to you from Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas and Missouri. Hannah, the cutter, put it up with the left hand and an opportunity for a three-point play. Hannah scores on another Chicago guy. Julian Wright commits the foul. <laughs> foul is on Wright, his third. So an opportunity to cut it to two points. KU was up by eight just moments ago. Ahead on Sports Center Heat Lakers round two out West. Gilbert's must see finish in the East. MVP LT fired up after Sunday's loss. Did he back down today? And Nick Saban's plan to turn the tide back into a winner after the game. Back at Allen Fieldhouse in Kansas, the Jayhawks have a three-point lead over Missouri. Well, guys, it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day today, and that has particularly special meaning for Mike Anderson, who was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama the center of much of the civil rights movement. He said that it was particularly important for him growing up in those times. It was a huge influence on his life. And he says, today is a special day for myself and a lot of people. And he said, Martin Luther King paved the way not only for rights, but for opportunities for blacks. And he said, you know, I don't think I'd be a head coach right now if not for Martin Luther King and the opportunities that he opened up for our people. All right, Holly, thanks so much. That free throw is good, and it's a two-point ball game. Here's a little bit of 2-2-1 pressure. Right. In and out, wouldn't go. They did a nice job, Ron, of attacking. And Lawrence was able to keep both feet in bounds and to call a timeout. Yesterday in practice, Kansas worked five versus seven. They played against seven defenders to try to simulate this pressure. That time they got the ball right to the middle of the floor, couldn't convert. And right now, let's go to Reese Davis for Sports Center 30 and 30. Ron, you think it's hot on the court at the Fog? Nothing compared to the Australian Open in Melbourne where Maria Sharapova had to endure 101 degree air temperature and 120 degrees on the court, blew a five love lead in the third set and beat Camille Penn 9-7 in the third. Football, Hitkin Jr. Antonio Pippen gonna skip their senior seasons at Ohio State to go into the draft. Sports Center after the game, ESPN News only. All right, Reese. Sharapova. I'm sure her fans enjoy getting to see her stay on the court that long. Very hot in Australia this time of year. Of course, seasons reversed. Let's see how much Missouri moves the ball and attacks with the dribble. And I think that's going to be Arthur with the foul. It's interesting, Ron. You talk about Darrell Arthur and Brandon Rush with all those NFL guys declaring early. I have a sneaky suspicion that nobody will leave this team and go pro early. Talking about Kansas. The Kansas team. Yep. Rush, Wright, Arthur. I just have a funny feeling they're all going to come back. I could be wrong, but the body language, it's watching these guys at practice, and if they all come back, this team could be even more dynamite a year from now. There's no question about that. Khan comes back in the ball game. He's got another year. Arthur will go to the bench and, uh, and get a breather. And this team has no seniors on scholarship. This guy stayed four years, had a pretty good career. <laughs> 37 against Mizzou in 1988. Won a national championship over at Kemper against Oklahoma. In the championship game, right. 
Lost it. Gets it back out. Rush. Jump stop there. Right on the follow. Couldn't get it to go. And Lions rebound. How about that effort on the backboards? At the other end, Brown. Well, let's see if Marshall Brown starts to heat up in the second half. This is 10 unanswered points by the Missouri Tigers. They were down 58 to 50. I could have been wrong about Missouri's guards fatiguing because Missouri has taken it to Kansas. So it's Super Tuesday tomorrow on ESPN 2. Big East action, 7 o'clock Eastern. UConn takes on number 6, Pittsburgh. Then in the Big 12 at 9 Eastern, number 23, Texas, on the road against Oklahoma State, number 14 in the country. Super Tuesday presented by Lexus, part of Student Spirit Week on ESPN 2. Well, we talked about the two prime candidates for player of the year in the Big 12. Kevin Durant will get some first-team All-American consideration. In fact, right now, I think he's a favorite to be on that first team. One of the things that Mike Anderson said today after their shoot-around, he said, now, how much have you seen of Durant? And I said, I've seen enough of him to know that he is, what he does is magical. And he said, gosh, I hope he goes to the league <laughs> next year. He well, said, that, I don't want to see him again. That's one you can take to the bank. He will be the second pick, in my opinion, behind Greg Oden. And I know people are starting to talk about Durant as number one, but you haven't seen a healthy two-handed Greg Oden yet. Collins back in the ball game, number four. More zone. It's been very effective for Missouri. Ton lost it. Can't put it on the floor. Three on one with the break. They had numbers, and he caught it and got it right back to Hannah. Well, it was dangerous. Brown could have taken a really serious fall right there. Transition. Myers got caught sleeping in the neutral zone. Sasha Khan got all the way behind him. Hannah got it. Talk about that soft touch. Did you see how that ball hung on the rim? 15 points for him. And he shoots a very soft ball. Rush pulls up, kisses it off the glass. Big possession for Missouri. Can they go up four or five? And a travel called on Lawrence, and the head coach stands up and says, oh, slow down, please. Missouri down 11 turnovers, 12 against KU. Good effort by Khan right here. You see Lions gets caught napping. The little guy from Chicago, watch this soft shot. Just kisses off the rim. A lot of times you see guys that shoot that hard ball that clanks. Good touch. Khan with eight points. Six of them here in the second half. Jackson took a pass. I thought that was for yeah. Sasha. <laughs> Along the baseline, rush, offensive foul, out of control. Lions right there to take the charge. Ron, you know it's tough to drive versus the zone. The defense is already set up at the rim, and rush takes off. And all Lions had to do is make a step or two over, and he's in perfect position. Open three. Boy, it doesn't take him but that yep. long to cock it and fire it away. That's 16 points. 16 points for Matt Lawrence. And a timeout is taken as Missouri has now gone on a 15-2 to two scoring pace. Now, one thing Kansas has had trouble with tonight is keeping Stefan Hanna in front of them. Watch the dribble penetration. It draws the defense, and Rush wasn't that far out of position. When you give Lawrence a little bit of space, he's going to knock it down. That's what I was talking about. You've got to be able to shoot semi-contested jumpers against good competition. And Lawrence calmly knocks it down. You know, the interesting thing about the 400 three-pointers he would take every day, obviously he was taught and used his teammates in an even better way to make sure that he not only shot that many, but he learned how to shoot them full speed. And there is a great difference. That right there, he had a breath, or oh, that ball's going to be tipped. 
You know, Ron, if you're at home practicing, you're a young player. If you don't work at full speed in improving your game, you're wasting your time. It's a great point. Chalmers back out on the wing. Rush for three. Too hard. And again, Matt Lawrence involved in the play. Comes Kansas down with the rebound. Kansas has got caught up in playing this speed game. Hannah, not there. Rush rebound. Russell Robinson. Well, you're just getting a glimpse tonight of what could be at Missouri as Mike Anderson continues to recruit. He's got a very good transfer sitting out. Damari Carroll from Vanderbilt. His nephew. Jackson had it stripped. That was Hannah who knocked it away from behind. Pauses, couldn't get the shot to go, and Khan will come away with the rebound. Bad angle. A tough angle to feed the post from. The focus comes up with the basketball. He's a guy that likes to come off the bench. He had an effective first half. Played for a great junior college coach, Steve Eck, who also coached Taj Gray at Redlands in Oklahoma. Seven and a half minutes left in our ball game. Inside, little too hard. Khan battles for it with Hannah. And the possession arrow says it'll stay with the Tigers. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Calling a foul on Hannah. And that's four fouls on him. So, no coaches speak, no announcers speak. We told you it would be tight, and we got a good one. 65-60, Missouri. of the all-new 306 horsepower G design beyond machine. Well, our score is 65-60 Missouri. You know, many of Norm Stewart's coaching days were spent on the court here at Allen Fieldhouse. And following his retirement, the Jayhawks gave recognition to his longevity. For 32 years, he was in this building. And you guys chanted, sit down, Norm. Okay? And as I leave the court, I'm going to give him this microphone. And if you'll chant that, I believe this time he'll finally set his behind down. All right? <laughs> you know, oh, Missouri man. folks and KU folks love to get at each other, but that was, that was a really fun occasion. Of course, Roy Williams was the man on the microphone, and uh, they... They asked Norman Norman if he would come back. He said, you bet I will. And you could see the appreciation by uh, the KU people. <laughs> he sat down in that rocking chair. I wouldn't doubt he's sitting in it right now watching this ball game. Well, you remember the great story when Norm got sick, bout with cancer. Ted Owens, who was no longer coaching, called him and said, Norm, I've taken a poll of the uh, Big A coaches. They wish you well. The bad news is it was a four to three vote. <laughs> Well, a miss on that second one, so it's a four-point game. And regardless of what chair Coach Stewart is sitting and watching this ball game, his Tigers up by four points. He's got to be kind of excited. Ball tip. Volk has got a hand on it, and the ball was on the rim, and that's what the crowd is upset about. And it was a great execution. They double team Lawrence because of how well he was shooting. Oh. See if they can spread the floor and get a dribble drive. Under seven to play. Shot clock is at ten. Lions for three. Not there. Collins rebounds and he'll push it. Picked up by Horton. See, Missouri stays in the zone. It's been hard to get the ball inside. Collins for three. Six. 16 points 
Pass for the freshman. Lions at the other end. How many times tonight has Kansas scored and Missouri put it right back on top of them? The freshman Collins from Crane Tech stepping up as he has in Big 12 play. But Missouri comes right back and attacks the basket, gets a chance to get two free throws. We were talking about at halftime how, how many solid numbers Missouri had put up rebounding. And it's the reason, one of the reasons they're in this ball game as this shot is in and out. They have 37 and KU has 36. Well, coming off of Saturday's performance against K-State when they were out rebounded 41-17. Rebounding is about effort and determination. When we talk about student spirit, you're not going to find any better than at this arena right here. Allen Field House on the campus of Kansas University. And we got a two-point ball game. Missouri on top. The heavy underdogs in this one. Arthur puts it on the baseline and has it stolen. Left oh. hand. Got it. Keon Lawrence. He averaged 30 a game in New Jersey. He's been hurt, but a big basket for the freshman. Right. Dishes it off. Arthur not there, and he was fouled. That was called on number five. Keon Lawrence at a Newark, New Jersey, Week Quayak High School has been playing with an injured left foot, but the soft left-handed runner doesn't even hit net. So that's 18 fouls of the Tigers. Lions with the foul, his second. You know, I love Darrell Arthur, Ron. He's going to be a tremendous player. We talked about him probably staying for a second year. We don't know it yet, but he's got the frame of a young Horace Grant, but so far in Big 12 play has not been as effective as he was early. He's learning his lessons, though, just like that high dribble a moment ago. Yes. Uh, down inside, and it cost him. Cost his team a turnover. to hit five and a half minutes left in this one. Now remember, Hannah has four fouls, so Mike Anderson judicious in his use of Hannah. There's nobody that can beat you off the dribble now for Missouri. Shot clock is at eight. Lawrence along the baseline, the runner, not there, tipped up, and Lawrence comes down with it, and a new 35 seconds. The other Lawrence with the three-pointer and Grimes over the back with the call. That was called on Kevin Grimes. Little, probably a step or two deeper than he shot him tonight, but again, without Hannah being able to break down Kansas's defense, easy opportunities are not going to come as easy. Three fouls on Grimes. Matt Lawrence, as you mentioned, just a little off the mark on that one. Boy, remember how clutch Arthur was against Florida from the foul line. Under five minutes now. That foul is going to be on Russell Robinson. Horton That's two on two. him. Yep, Horton is going to shoot him. Holly Road, let's check in with you. What do you got for us? Well, guys, one of the big keys to this game tonight for Missouri has been their improved rebounding. As you said, out-rebounded 41-17 in their loss Saturday against Kansas State. Mike Anderson says he has told his team, guys, we're not dead, just sick on rebounding, so we've got to get well. They tried to keep it really positive in practice and just do some technical things to improve. It's like these players, listen, they're getting better tonight. I don't think there's any question, Holly, to back up what you're talking about, to totally reinforce it. 40 rebounds for the Missouri Tigers tonight. The man at the line who just missed again, though, Horton, is zero for the evening. His role has changed, but they got to have points out of him as Arthur gets the easy two. Arthur has been sneaking along that baseline versus the zone. They found him. One-point ball game, and a timeout called by Missouri will hold it right here. 
Question you have to ask yourself if you're Mike Anderson is when do you bring Stefan Hanna back with four fouls? Well, you look at the rebounding margin in Big 12 games against Iowa State, minus 10, minus 11, Texas, against K-State, minus 24, and tonight, plus 2. And the impressive thing is the number. When I said 40, we still got almost four and a half minutes left in our ball game. Well, re rebounding, as I mentioned, is about effort, execution, fundamentals, blocking out. College basketball on ESPN Wednesday night, 7 o'clock Eastern. It'll be North Carolina, number four in the country, against number 16, Clemson, who just fell for the first time this weekend. ACC Wednesday, presented by Staples, is a part of Student Spirit Week on ESPN. Be interested to see if Carolina doesn't lose two in a row on the road. Missouri is 7-0. 7-0 when they out-rebound the opponent. Right now, they lead in that category. Like but they to, only need this one by one. I'd like to answer you, but I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> nice play. Travel, Lions. I think Mike Anderson trying to get to that four-minute timeout before coming back with his star guard, Hannah. Well, Kay, you can go back on top on this trip, and you'll know it from this crowd. Collins deep in the corner. Every shot that goes up in that zone, Missouri must get a body. Right with his fourth, and Bill himself very, very, very upset. Well, a lot of contact both ways. I'm not sure it was a foul. That's just three guys going for the ball. I don't know that anybody got an advantage. Boy, 77% came up empty. Under four minutes to play. Missouri still by one. Keep your eye on Arthur along the baseline. Julian Wright dished inside. Great assist. Arthur was all alone. Hey, you back on top. Very sneaky. The freshman from Dallas. What can he do for you? I'll tell you what, that's only four for him in the second half. He's been averaging 20 in the second half of Big 12 games. Tough matchup because of Brown's quickness from that power forward spot. Look at Arthur again. Rush. Fouled by Horton. We're going to take a timeout. We're going to break. Don't you go anywhere. Grab a cold beverage. Call a friend. 70 to 69, Missouri. Who said they're big underdogs, huh? Welcome back to Allen Field House, Missouri, 70 to 69. Ron Franklin along with Fran Frischella and Holly Rowe. And welcome to what has been a fantastic Big Monday brought to you by Bud Light, all a part of Student Spirit Week here on ESPN. This game is always fun, and tonight is no exception, huh? Well, and if you're a fan of Missouri and you're 0-3 in the Big 12, what I would tell you is your program is in good hands with Mike Anderson. Haven't won a road game in a while, but... Mike Alden hired Mike Anderson. Most coaches thought that was a home run hire. Tie ball game at 70. And Rush can put the Jayhawks back on top by one. He's the man that took over Saturday in overtime against Iowa State. Second one on the way, and he switched it. He's got 16 now. No Stefan Hannum, Ron. I think it helps Kansas to be in close games like this. Brown, spin move, Arthur with the
with the foul. Because of Brown's mobility against a bigger Arthur and his use of the dribble, he's able to get from the perimeter to the lane. Keep your eye on this. Look how good he is with the ball, and then he sets up the contact, takes it into the freshman. And, of course, the youngster to get the crowd on his side and the coach makes the face and says, not me, but as you could see on the replay, it was a very good call. 71 all again. Another one of those much improved Missouri Tigers under Mike Anderson, Marshall Brown. 11 ties and now another lead change. I think that's number 19. Missouri by one. 72 71. Two and a half minutes to play. They stay in the zone. Keep your eye on Arthur along the baseline. Collins takes it all the way in the middle and rolls it in. 18 points for Collins. for three in and out wouldn't go and as they battle for the rebound possession error says it stays right where it is watch how easy the dribble is he attacks the zone defense doesn't come how many times tonight have we seen those little guards like Hannah and Collins hit the floaters over the bigs in the ball game. The jumper for three. Lawrence couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Wright. Wright now with nine rebounds. And Missouri stays in the zone. Kansas starting to get some rhythm. Collins for three. Wow. Another score is born in Allen Fieldhouse. Jayhawk lead. 21, that's a career high for Collins. And out the basket, and Matt Lawrence will go to the free throw line and an opportunity to make it a three point play. Sharam Collins stepping up. Young man from Crane Tech. Look how smooth that stroke is. Came in shooting 40%. And then Matt Lawrence showing you he doesn't have to do it behind the line. Not allergic to the lane as he drives. But a chance for the old-fashioned three. Robinson with the foul. It was his third. So the situation, 123 remaining. This will make it a one-point Kansas lead on the way, and he got it. Ron Franklin, Fran Fraschella, Holly Rowe coming to you from Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas. Big Monday, all a part of our Student Spirit Week, and we have a one-point game. Kansas 76 and Missouri 75. 108 left in our ball game. Sports Center coming up immediately following our ball game. Well, last year they played an overtime game in Columbia, Missouri. The Tigers trailed by seven points before outscoring KU 10-3 over the final 30 seconds of regulation. Thomas Gardner with a career high 40 points on fire. They came from nine back with a minute 13 also, Ron. Go to overtime and Gardner took over the overtime. And ironically, that put Missouri at three and one in the Big 12 and Quinn Snyder did not win another league game. That's right. Looked as though it was going to be a really great start and it simply didn't happen. It cratered from there. Sports Center coming up next. Wade and Kobe meet out west. LT still charged up at the Patriots and Nick Saban's motivation at Alabama. Well, Missouri will stay in that zone now. Collins has stretched the defense so Kansas can play both inside and out. Julian right in the middle, Arthur along the baseline, and the two sharpshooters on the wings. Robinson, he's going to dish it off. Going along with an easy two. Back to a three-point 
Jim Jayhawk. Horton, back to Lions. Nice dish inside, and Brown had it blocked and blocked again by Arthur. This time a foul is called. How about the freshman? Arthur Collins. Robinson with his fourth foul. Terrell Arthur, two block shots a game. He got two on that three. Second exchange. Brown got it. Slim Shady. Look how quick he gets off his feet. Two-point game. He can make it a one-point affair, and he does. Kansas, 78-77, and with 44 oh. seconds left, the ball almost lost by Arthur. Full court pressure. Kansas goes man, but Tiller is on Arthur. Collins. The distance. seconds now. They do have timeouts. They're not going to call them. Deep in the corner. Three-pointer. Off the mark. Rebounded. Comes back out to Robinson. And they got Rush and the open end. And he can't hold on to it. They turn oh. it over with 11 seconds left. Had a chance to ice it and or at least get a foul. They tried to get Rush in the open court. Collins came out of his shoe yeah. on this play. Well, back in high school, they may stop the clock when you lose your shoe, but not in the Big 12. So the final timeout taken by Missouri. They now, Ron, if you're, if you're Mike Anderson, you can shoot the three, or you can get a quick two, set up your press, and foul right away. There may not be that much time unless you attack the rim immediately. Kansas, on the other hand, does not want to foul, but they do have shot blockers if you attempt to get the two at the rim. Keep your eye on this now. Robinson throws it ahead and throws it too far. And actually, a Kansas player stuck his hand in there. See, KU, I believe, was contending that Missouri didn't have another timeout left, but they did. 11.1 seconds showing on the clock. Now keep your eye on this, Ron. If you put shooters in the corners and a big down low and you set the screen for Hannah, you allow him to come off and go to four different places if you need a three. He can pull up, he can kick it back to the screener, he can kick it to each corner. If he wants to two, he's got to go to the rim immediately. He cannot waste time because a two will allow them to set up their press. So here we come. 11 seconds left in the ball game. And if you're Bill Self, do you foul? Hanna. Three seconds, down to two. Lawrence, desperation three, not there, and KU wins it. Too much time to set up the opportunity for the three. It developed too late. Hannah not really able to get by Shady. Arthur. Time runs down and Lawrence has to force it. Good defense by Kansas. They switch the screen. And the mobile Arthur able to contain Stefan Hannah. 
Then let's go down to Holly Rowe. Holly? Sharon, you're just a freshman. What do you know about the importance of this game winning against your border rival? Well, I really, really, I really didn't know about it, you know. But I really got to know about it at halftime. We came out, we played a sluggish first half. So we just tried to get our head back into it and calm down on defense because they love to run. We just had to be patient on offense. And Coach Self explained it to us how bad we need this win and how that how, how the history goes on between the rivals. So we just, we, I, I knew it was important. You had 15 points in the second half, so you must have listened. But what was working for you offensively? Uh, my jump shot was working uh, more today. And my jump shot opened up me to get open drives. And I just, I mean, my, my teammates set good screens. And they, they found me when I was open. So I didn't do it by myself. It was my teammates that helped me. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Sharon Collins, superstar freshman in this uh, quarter showdown. All right, Holly. So the final score in regulation, Kansas 80 and Missouri 77. Behind the efforts of the freshman Collins with 23 points, a career high. Up next is Sports Center. Watch our post game extra on ESPN News. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. And now for Fran Fraschella, Holly Rowe, and our entire crew, Ron Franklin saying so long, everybody, from Lawrence, Kansas. Thank you.